This is the app I'm currently using to see if I should go flying today. Uh, today wasn't very good. The wind chill is what's really holding me back and a heart condition is what causes cold weather to be a problem to me, but one has to set some limits, I guess. And the forecast for today, as you can see down the second column, is temperature's never going to get above what I've set as my minimums. Uh, the wind will be fine, of course, today. Over in the settings for thresholds, I set a max wind of 20 miles an hour, including gust. Don't care about the wind altitude. The minimum temperature I set to 45. Whoops. 45. I think I'm going to set that down to 40, including the wind chill. So that might be. 45, 50, but the wind chill's got it down to 40. Uh, I don't think I should really be out in temperatures below that. Simply flying an airplane. If I had something I had to do, sure, but with yeah, the heart condition, probably not. And the rest of all these factors, uh, I've just sort of left at the default. But that's what I'm doing. Every morning I get up now and check this to see if I should fly and we'll see how that goes. I may may change that wind chill if I find I can get out in a little colder temperatures. Uh, it's real easy to tell. All I have to do is walk outside in the air and I can feel my chest tighten if it's too cold for me and going to affect my heart. So it rained the past two days. I also have to take into account that the field might be muddy. Uh, so I really need two or three days of good weather to no rain. It doesn't have to be sunshiny. It can be 20 degrees as long as there's no rain. The field will still be drying out. It might be freeze drying, but it'll still be drying out. But I'm glad I did fly this past Wednesday because, like I say, Saturday and Sunday, yesterday and the day before were just complete rainouts around here. So I'm anxious to fly again and kind of keeping an eye on this frequently. 